Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to work a little bit with Linux Mint Debian Edition. As the official version has dropped and more people are moving away from Ubuntu, there is an increasing amount of people that are saying and, and wishing that the Linux Mint team would focus more on LMDE and less on the Ubuntu version. And uh, I would probably echo those sentiments as Ubuntu moves more and more into a central integration of snaps, which Linux Mint has a fundamental disagreement in philosophy too. And so many people are looking to LMDE. The problem is they only make one LMDE, and that is Cinnamon. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to talk about how you can get this guy themed up properly and install other desktop environments so that you can have LMDE but have whatever desktop environment you want, of course, within reason. We're going to convert this guy to a LMDE XFCE version. And so we're going to go ahead and walk through the steps involved in doing that. Now, we might need to check on our themes a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and check on that because this already has the themes in it. I'm just not sure if it has everything it needs for XFCE. But we'll go ahead and give it a test before we install that. And if not, then we can just download the master themes file here, which is everything for all of the XFCEs, not just the LMDE version. And so I don't know if we're going to need that file or not. We will cross that road when we come to it. And yes, I did test this whole process first. I just didn't occur to me to check it without installing the other themes first. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, first, since LMDE is based on Debian, any desktop environment you can install on Debian, you can install on, uh, on LMDE. The problem is, are you going to have it themed as beautiful as it is, as Linux Mint does put some of the best uh, design into their theming to make sure everything does look good. Now, that's the thing where we have to fight with a little bit more. But that being said, you can install any desktop environment and theme it any way you like within the rim limits of what you have. Uh, Gnome, Plasma, and Budgie all look really good on any default installation on any, um, any individual uh, distro. Other ones eh, don't look necessarily as good. Some of them look extremely dated. Even my beloved Cinnamon looks ugly as all get out when you install it on anything other than Linux Mint by its default theming. They should really fix that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and talk about just installing a desktop environment. and We're going to look at XFCE. So in order to do this, all we need to do is load up um, your XFCE for package. Now, if you want the extra goodies, a variety of different tools, you can also install the goodies package. We do not need that. There is one package we do need, however, and that is the Whisker Menu plugin. So we're going to go ahead and install the XFCE4 package and the Whisker Menu plugin, not the goodies because I don't think we need all of that. Although you might play around with that and see it might give you better responses if you do. If we do need that theming, we can go into the Linux Mint GitHub page and find our individual theming. So let's go ahead and start our whole process here. First, make sure your system is up to date. Uh, mine should be up to date. So let's go ahead and double check that. I did uh, update it. I just don't remember if I updated that before or after I took my snapshot. So hopefully we're up to date. Okay, all packages are up to date. So we're going to do a sudo apt install xfce4. And then we're going to do the XFCE for Whisker menu plugin. So we're just going to install those two packages there and hit yes. And this is going to install what all it needs to run the, uh, the plugins uh, and the, the desktop environment install here on Debian. All right, so now that it is done, we're just going to do a simple reboot. And of course, the reboot is going to get us back in the login screen, make sure everything is uh, set up properly in the back end. And then we will have the option now to choose a different desktop environment. All right. So over here on our login screen, we're going to pick XFCE session from our desktop chooser. And then we're going to enter in our super secret password. That's definitely not one, two, three. And this is going to get us logged into a very ugly uh, build. Now I'm going to do one thing here and that's going to be fix my uh, screen resolution. You will not have that problem if you're doing this on real hardware. 
All right, so now we are fixed up. So desktop colors, of course, this is taking us to the appearance tool, which is something that is now built in here. It does look like we do not have to do anything else with our themes. We can just choose the themes that we want. Let's go with the mint Y red, maybe, uh, or should we do the mint Y dark red? I don't know. What do you guys like, the dark or the non-dark better? We'll go ahead and do the dark since this is a video. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is just get your basic theming under uh, under wraps here. So let's go ahead and start up our settings, go into our settings manager, and then we need to adjust our panel. Linux Mint XFCE doesn't have a second dock panel, so let's get rid of that guy. And now for our panel one, we're going to unlock the panel, drag this guy down to the bottom, and now relock it. We do need to increase the size of it, bring it up to regular modern size. So 40 should do pretty good. And then let's go ahead and adjust all of our pixels, probably up to 40 or something similar to it. I don't know, what should we do? Wanna do 32? Let's go ahead and do 32. Okay, and now under your items, we had to install that whisker menu. And um, let's go ahead and hit add item here. The whisker menu is the menu that XFC is, uh, XFCE is going to use. So we're going to go ahead and right click, move that guy over here. And we're going to remove our basic applications menu. Let's close this, get this one out of our way. Now we're going to do our properties for our whisker menu. Now here's what your default looks like. Basic list setup. That should be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and keep with that. But what we do want to do is we want to change our icons here. Let's see if we can find our Linux Mint items. So here we have some Linux Mint item over there. So that looks pretty good. And then if you want to adjust any of the individual commands over here, you can go ahead and do that. But that gets us pretty close to what we have. Now we do need to do a few other things. Um, if we look at our items here, our uh, workspace switcher, this is something that Linux Mint, I don't recall, has. And we do want to make sure that we have some good launchers. So let's go ahead and add a few applications here. So under Internet, we're going to right click, add that one to Favorites, and then we're going to add this to the panel. Let's also go ahead and do, um, let's remove this one from favorites and then we're going to remove this one from favorites because those actually are not really set up we'll do thunderbird and then add that to panel and let's go ahead and add our terminal and we will add our thunar to our panel as well but now we just need to move these guys over so let's go ahead and move now we got it moved. All right, so now we have our panel set up. We have our theming is matching. The menu is the same. Now we have our panel set up. The one thing I don't really see, oh, we need to do one more thing though, don't we? We need to also do our icons. So inside of our appearance, go ahead into our icons. And again, we're going to go with our mint Y red. So that gives us the icons. And under our desktop here, we might want to adjust our icon sizes and choose which icons that we want. I'm not a huge fan of the file system. Let's go ahead and see if I can up those icons a little bit more. Yes, I can. All right, and now our wallpaper. And here's where we find our Linux Mint. So those are going to be in your um, USR share uh, backgrounds and then look for the Linux Mint ones. So now we have our system configured to look and theme and install and behave just like Linux Mint. Now, the things that I have not been able to see is the newer version of XFCE does have better 
uh, icons down here. Um, I have not been able to get those figured out. If you can uh, get me uh, the information about getting those guys the proper figure, you'll see that the, uh, the icons there are not blending in super well. If we were to change our theming to one of the light theming, you'll be able to see them. That's kind of an artifice of the older form of... Uh, icons that uh, was fixed in the cinnamon version. I'm not sure if they were completely fixed in the XFCE version. And I did actually install trying to uh, try moving the mint themes over. That did not solve that problem either. And I tried a few different icon uh, packs as well. I was not able to get that working as well. But we do have now our very nice system set up. Everything here is installed. The only downside of adding this is now we have cinnamon in here as well. If you consider that bloat or if you say, hey, I might want to fall back to that, we have the ability to do that as well. But that is how we can install another desktop environment and theme it up and get it all set up and ready to go to have an LMDE with a different desktop environment that is not cinnamon. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, if you do have a fix for fixing these icons down there like the... Um, it's the update manager icon. Please let me know that in the comments. I would uh, love to do uh, to do that, and uh, I will pin whoever might come up with the correct solution for that. With that, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.